Hello, this is uh, Jihad Mustafa. I am sharing with you today a new technology for therapy of complex disease. Here's the Flex device. It's a device that has uh, blades on it that uh, is actually uh, self-expanding uh, with assistant, basically. And you can expand this uh, blades to any lumen that you choose to expand it to. You will see the blades coming out and it depends on how much you want them uh, expanded out, um, you can uh, then do that. And you can rotate the blades to different areas in the vessel to treat. Uh, once um, you finish, you can retract them and then pull them back into their housing uh, system. So as you can see here, the initial angiogram shows a catheter from the retrograde approach via the posterior tibial artery. In this angiogram, you see that the anterior tibial perineal are patent the posterior tibial is patent with some spasm. Also on top of the picture, you see the previous uh, fempop anastomosis, and then above that is the native occluded uh, popliteal artery. So now we are taking the device through the retrograde slender sheath, and here's the device positioned in the um, common femoral artery. And what you're gonna see here that they're going to react to the vessel. So whenever they, they're going to meet uh, high-grade stenosis, they might bend in a little bit, and then once they go through that, they flex out again. Uh, notice here that they've done a great job staying within the lumen, and uh, the left side of the screen, you see that there's more contact with the vessel wall, and you see that was freed now. Now you see the opposite on the right side where there is more contact between the flex and the vessel wall and that's actually is being active and doing a great modification of the vessel wall as we pull. So don't let that be a detour when you see one area flexed out and where one area flexed in, that's okay. That's That means that the area that's flexed in is doing more work. Now both areas are getting flexed in indicating that we're within a very high grade stenosis area and this is actually here an excellent example where the uh, area that is being treated is extremely tight to the point that the device completely flexed in. Once it goes beyond that, it will flex out again. Now we retrieve the device into its housing and we're going to go ahead and re-advance it because we noticed multiple areas of severe flex in. So we're going to go back and then deploy it above the area that we're going to treat. Now it's coming in, flexed out. We rotated the device as you can see because we want to treat different areas that we haven't treated. And now we're going to see what's going to happen in the area where it flexed in earlier. So let me share with you a post-flex angiogram. Remember this, is, this was completely occluded for years. So notice the beautiful result. This is basically only from the flex device and now we can feel uh, comfortable that this uh, final runoff will give this patient res uh, resolution of its symptoms. This is phenomenal. The flex device allowed this beautiful symmetrical deployment of the stent that otherwise probably would not have been possible. And long-term pregnancy depends on the uh, balloon angioplasty and the superior stents that were placed in this vessel but uh, I want to give credit to the vessel preparation that we did with the Flex device. This is Dr. Mustafa, and thank you.